For the past week, many cubers have been participating in a little game called Sea Foppy Bird. The premise of this game is pretty simple. You must fly a bird through an obstacle course, avoiding all of the pipes that come in your way. While you are doing this, the bird will solve a Rubik's Cube, and once it's finished, it will drop the cube into a pipe and you'll get a point. Then you'll grab another cube and repeat the process until you hit one of the obstacles. What makes this game really cool is the leaderboard. Each week, 10 YouTubers in their communities compete against each other to see who can score the most points. And I happen to be one of them. So, this is my community's quest to beat some of the greatest YouTubers of all time. These are all of the channels that are competing during the first week of Sea Foppy Bird. This is Ting Man, who is currently at 925k subscribers and will probably reach 1 million very soon. His videos are very wholesome and great. Swift Cubing is the one who made this game. He's also insanely good at 3x3 blindfolded. Currently, he is at 2,000 subscribers, and honestly, his content is very underrated. Scooch Cubing is currently at 15.7k subs and is the luckiest speed cuber ever. Also, he's made a summoning salt type video, so he's cool. JF Cubing just makes some of the most high quality content there is. Currently, he's at 5.49k subs. Elias is much faster than me at Pyraminx, 2x2, and probably like every event there is. He's currently at 1.69k subs. He's a cuber, is awesome. He's a huge inspiration to me and makes the spiciest cubing content there is. Please sub to him. He's currently at 11.9k subscribers. Captain Cuber is currently at 1.8 million subs and makes some awesome shorts. Jperm, yeah, he's in this. Jperm is one of, if not the most popular cubing channels out there, so he's probably gonna win. He currently has 1.53 million subscribers and was in a Michelle Carre video. Soup Timmy, the king of cubing TikToks, is currently at 3.18 million subscribers on YouTube, and I've actually seen him a few times at Florida competitions. And last but not least, Cubing with Alex. Alex has a pretty decent channel and is currently at 3.87k subscribers. And well, he's also me, so that's pretty cool. So how am I and my 3,870 subscribers going to be multi-million subscriber channels? I don't know. Surprisingly, by the end of day one, Jperm wasn't winning. Neither was Soup Timmy, Ting Man, or all of those other big channels. Elias was actually in the lead, with Swift Cubing right behind him. I ended up being right in the middle of the pack with 232 total cubes solved. Right above me in fourth place is Ting Man with 301 cubes solved. But once the leaderboard updated for day two, things completely changed. Yep, just because of one community post, Ting Man easily took the lead and completely ran with it. Ting Man was the first to break the 1000 cube solved barrier and had a pretty comfortable lead with 2215 total points. Honestly, it didn't seem like anyone was going to catch up to Ting Man. You know, the Ting Man fan was just too strong. So yeah, there's no way someone beats him, right? Somehow, we managed to get around 5,000 cubes solved all in one day, which skyrocketed us to the top of the leaderboard. So how was this insane leap even possible? Well, a new strategy was found just a day earlier. This is FYFT PCB, or forcing your friends to play Sea Foppy Bird. <laughs> Turns out it's a pretty effective strategy. Do you know anything about FYFT PCB? No. What? What now? No. Yeah, okay, it's probably best if you don't know. Well, anyways. Can I Google that real quick? 
but no, to, like, don't don't Google it. How many hours do you think you put in the sea poppy bird? Um, probably a lot in total. It's easy to like play a lot of it when you know you're, you're giving points to your favorite YouTuber. I'm not good at Flappy Bird in general, so I kind of <laughs> gave up pretty quickly. I put like maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> Three minutes. Hey. You know, maybe an hour at most if I got really bored. An hour. Hey, that's not bad. Um, I didn't actually put a lot of time into it. I think all together, I put like four hours. How many points do you think you got like in total? Like an estimate? Yeah, how many points? Oh my god. Um, well, let me use a calculator to do some math. About 880. That, that's a lot. Maybe 30. 30 is not bad. Right, well, I'm afraid that you can like see my actual scores and you're just gonna look at it and be like, oh. Yeah, damn, no, I, I'm, look at, I'm looking at it right now on my second monitor. It says you got five. Not no. joking, I can't. No, <laughs> that's not true. Ooh, I, probably a lot. Honestly, I'm guessing close to like a thousand. Because I played that game a lot. Uh, but I think the person who probably got the most points was Ella. 1,000 points, at least. 1, I would probably go the over on that. For real? Yeah. How many, how many hours do you think you put into the game? I probably have at least 24 hours because I stayed up all night doing it. You're insane. You're crazy. <laughs> what What's your best? Do you remember your best score? I always got to um, like 50 points every round. I couldn't beat your 123, but I think my highest was 60. Again, I'm not very good at Flappy Bird. I think I got like five or six. I don't know how you guys got like 30 because I'd always <laughs> fail at the same part. It would either be the little cloud got in the way. So then it, I'd hit that before I could get through the little hole or I'd end up hitting whatever it's called, you know? The, yeah, the, the pipes. The pipes. All right, well, five is respectable. That's that's not bad. It's better than one. It's, it's better than one. <laughs> um, I think it was 34 points. Ooh, that's nice. Oh my god, it was bad. I can't remember. It was something like 20-something because they suck. Actually, that's it not bad. It might have been 40. It might have been 44, but I can't remember. That's good. <laughs> that's like, that's like top. You're, you're above average. Good job. Day four was an insane day of Sea Foppy Bird, but there was still three more days left. So the quest changed from not just beating the best YouTubers of all time, but to absolutely destroying them. At the start of the week, if you would have told me that I would have actually been winning, I wouldn't have believed you. How could I possibly be beating channels 333 times bigger than me? Honestly, I'm surprised that we even reached 6,000 total cubes solved. And yet, here we are. So, it was time for us to go big and reach a total I don't think anyone saw coming. This is my community's grind to 10,000 total cubes solved. It updated. You're at 10,950. Dang. Wait, really? We did it? <laughs> yeah, you did it. You're over a half. 10,000. You doubled it. You doubled. You doubled you the doubled uh, second team place. Man. I doubled yeah, team, man. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's so funny how everyone's like 5,000, 1,000, 3,000, and then 10,000. 10,000. <laughs> That's crazy. 10,950 total cubes solved. Insane. But there was still one more day left, so why not add 2,000 to that? 
So this is the leaderboard at the end of week one of C Foppy Bird. This week was awesome, and it really showed me how strong the Cubing with Alex community is. So I'm going to take a second to thank you, because without you, literally none of this would have been possible. <laughs> You're all awesome. I also want to thank the Cubicle for sponsoring me. Make sure to use code Alex for 5% off your next order. Also, to all my friends, thank you for grinding this game with me. You know, it was a lot of fun. So that's how me and my community manages to beat some of the greatest YouTubers of all time. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.